Hello. Uh, today in the lab, I'm going to be demonstrating placing resistors in series. So whenever two resistors are placed in series, the overall resistance or the equivalent resistance always increases. Um, so three resistors in series is going to be greater than two resistors in series or just a single resistor. What I have here are five resistors placed in series. You have a 600 and kilo, 680 kilo ohm resistor right here, a 56 kilo ohm resistor here, 7.5 kilo ohm right here, and then there are two 270 ohm resistors right here. So I'm going to measure the resistance of, of the series, first of all, of all the resistors in series, and then I'll slowly um, or individually move the probe farther over and over, and you can see on the DMM or the digital multimeter, it'll be set up as an ohmmeter um, to see the resistance of the resistors. Resistors are measured in, in units of ohms. And then after that, I'll set up, uh, this is a power supply, and it'll be set to about six volts, and then the LED, these resistors will serve as current limiting resistors for the LED. And you can see how the brightness of the LED changes depending on the resistance um, set, which sets the, the current limiting, uh, or the current limit going to the, to the LED. So I will turn on the DMM to ohms, and I'm basically measuring between um, so I'm coming out and I'm measuring between this, this wire here, which is connected to this leg of the resistor, and then this resistor. Uh, these two resistors are connected together, and then these two. So if you can kind of visualize, all the resistors right now are in series. And the total resistance is 744 uh, kilo, kilo ohms. And the, the DMM shows points, point 0.744, but that's in mega ohms. So it's 744 kilo ohms. And if I move this over, so when I connect it here, it effectively takes this first resistor out of the circuit, which was the 680 kilo ohm resistor. So now the series resistance, the total resistance or equivalent resistance, is 64 kilo ohms. And I can move it over one more. And now it's about 8 kilo ohms, so it's the 7.5 kilo ohm uh, summed with the two 270 ohm resistors. And then this guy here is 270 ohm uh, times 2, which is roughly 540 ohms. And then the single resistor right here is 200 269 ohms or 270 ohms. So I'll put it back here. And I will turn this to current now. And I want to measure the current going through the, uh, let's see, the the circuit here, and plug this in here, and I have the power supply set to 6 volts, it's about 6 volts, and then the current limit is 50 milliamps, and that's more than, than what we'll need here. So first of all, so what's going on here is the current's coming out of the power supply into the DMM. Um, and then it goes internal to the DMM, it goes through the current sense resistor, which displays the current. Uh, come, the current comes back out into the circuit here when I have it connected here, flows through the resistors, through the LED, and then back into the lead, and back in the power supply. So you have a closed circuit to complete the current, current loop there, current circuit. So I'll connect this. I'll turn the power supply on and actually have to move this over here also. So if you can see there on this LED, it's just barely lit up with all this resistance ahead of it. And the current that is being measured is 4.78 microamps, so very, very little current. And as I move this over here, so it's a little brighter, quite a bit, or a little bit more current, 54 microamps. Move it over one more, so Quite a bit brighter, and now we're at 423 microamps. And over now, so what we have now is the two 270 ohm resistors in series, so it's quite a bit brighter, and 5.4 5 milliamps. And then the last one is just the 270 ohm resistor, and so the LED is really bright. And it's measuring the current through the the LED and the current re limiting resistor is 11 milliamps. And then we can back it back down if kind of show you again. It gets dimmer and dimmer as the resistance gets bigger and bigger. 
uh, effectively limiting the current going to the LED. So that's uh, the demonstration here in the lab for series resistors. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.